My name is Chris. Today, we're going to be making wildfire. Green fire, ignited by ice. For this experiment, we're going to need ammonium nitrate. This stuff is used in cold packs, which reacts with water and brings down the temperature of bruised muscles. Next, we're going to need metal zinc in fine powdered form and ammonium chloride, which is used to fertilize rice crops and for licorice flavoring. We already have our zinc and ammonium chloride in very fine powdered form, so we only need to get our ammonium nitrate out of our cold packs and grind it to powdered form. You might think this is enough, but this isn't enough grinding. You must grind until there's nothing left to grind. I think this is as good as we're gonna get. I transferred some of the ammonium nitrate into this container just to see if we have good fine powders. And some are good, others are too large, but we're gonna try it out anyway. Now that we have all three of our ingredients in very fine powdered form, we wanna make sure that we mix them up thoroughly and with specific mass ratios. The reason is, is because all these materials when they're mixed are highly reactive with the water in the air, which we call humidity. Using a measuring tool, we're going to isolate three grams of ammonium nitrate, 0.5 grams of ammonium chloride, and seven grams of zinc. safety concerns. As you can see, I'm wearing a protective mask in addition to safety glasses. We're outside, so now I'm gonna to try to drop some of these waters in here and see exactly what happens. Okay. Put a little bit in there. Nothing's happening yet. It is possible that we didn't mix it up enough. Have enough. Oh, here it comes, here it comes. Woo! That was awesome, but this time let's go big, Game of Thrones style. An experiment of fire and ice. Like last time it took a little bit for that reaction to start. Now that we have ice, the ice has to get time to, to melt. Hopefully we'll be able to get the exact same result we got before. With patience, hopefully the reaction will start. I hear it, I hear it, I hear it. As scientists, we don't always have all the answers. However, we should inquire. So this is what I think is happening in this reaction. In case there's a zombie apocalypse or you're out in the middle of nowhere, knowing this may save your life. As the ice melts, it phase changes from solid ice to liquid H2O. The liquid water then mixes itself with the three powders. The two powders, ammonium chloride and ammonium nitrate, ionizes and decomposes, causing chloride ions in the ammonium chloride to speed up the decomposition of ammonium nitrate. Ammonium nitrate decomposes, which yields nitrous oxide and more water. This autocatalytic effect speeds up the production of nitrous oxide, which simultaneously reacts with the zinc powder to produce zinc oxide and nitrogen gas. The bright green flame is the result of zinc ionizing. Thank you so much for watching. If you like these videos and want more high quality science and engineering videos, please like and subscribe. And if you haven't seen all of the other videos we've done, specifically us making our very own makeshift torch, please click over here and give it a watch. Thank you. See you next week. Really? <laughs>